Hello everybody, welcome back to more Dark Souls 2 Skull of the First Sin with me Flick and also Good Rory. Oh no! And to start with, today I'm going to head back to Aldia's Keep to see if the dragon decides to play with me or not. And while I'm doing this, Rory is going to Duke's Dear Freya to get the dragon memory there. Just so he's got something to do while I'm busy. Now, is this area protected from invasion? It is not. Let's change that. Oh wait, no, apparently it is, even though the sign's not here. Because when I rest at the bonfire it says, do you want to nullify the effects? Weird. It's a beta. It's probably just because, you know, like you can't put your sign down outside the mansion, you have to be inside. Yeah, as soon as I went inside the mansion it appeared. Yeah, because there's no point having it on a zone you can't By the way, do you still yeah. hide in the same place? Oh, Assuming yeah. it does come to life. The dragon can't. As long as you just run the dragon is weak and feeble. Alright, it's still not active, so that means it must be Forlorn that triggers it. So it's the one next to him that I didn't like, right? Yes. Is that the only one I didn't do? That's the only one I remember you not doing. Okay. Let's have a little dance with Forlorn then. Oops, that's not where I want to use this stat. Should probably cast just to get ready for him. I sense a dark presence. Uh, oh, he's invincible and he appeared. <laughs> Alright, apparently that's not parrying. <laughs> I'll show you parrying. Right in your face. What's the most Estus we can have again? I think it was it was something annoying. It wasn't, it wasn't a good number, it was like 13 or something. I thought it was 12 or 11 or something. I know you can have up to plus 6. Yes, so we're missing... Uh, we're dust. missing one dust. The guard broke him again. Thanks, Spider, for hitting me. Oh, I got webbed. Ah, oh. damn, Spider's using web ball. Just hit through the damage. Oh, except we need a dad combo. Don't do that. <laughs> Which weapons are you using? Is scythe or is? His scythe. I really wish their weapons didn't scale with how much they suck. Oh. No, they don't. They, they're cool looking. It's just how hollowed you are having a weapon that scales with is annoying. Yeah. So now will the dragon just activate? No idea. I don't know if you need to re go to the bonfire and reset the zone or not. Dragon. If the dragon turns on, run back to the actual door to see if that's the trigger point for it and then hope it turns on. I'll try resting in the bonfire. Are you absolutely sure I got all the other ones? For I think so. I know we killed them in every place for you, but that's the thing. I'm not. I'm. I think we did for you. Hmm. Because you did the one above that area. You did the one near the door, from what I remember. Oh crap, spiders! Are you sure you're not confusing it with when we did them for you, though? Again, that's the thing. I'm not. 100% sure. <laughs> I think you are. I think we didn't do any for me. Oh no, I think no, we maybe we did, did one to test one it. One or two. I think Forlorn's a pain in the arse. He just gets more resistant as you do it more. Not more difficult. Mr. Dragon, are you alive now? Is he trying to eat your face? Nope. You, we must have not done one then. Or not done all of them. So where were the other ones? There was one on the very top floor. One I remember the very that top much. floor that we did. From what I remember. Right, let's see if you were wrong or not. And there's the one oh, near that the one is done. Okay. There's the one near the acid pit, and then there's the one near the secret door. Secret door? The door behind the door that's locked with chains, and you there's a chest behind it. Oh yes, yes. Hippo man, I really don't want to have to fight you. Do the guys behind the paintings break out if I don't break them out? I think they do. Inconvenient. so photogenic. Yeah. Who wouldn't want to take a photo of that friendly face? Is this door closed? Right, so this one down here I have not done. They can't get out because the door's closed, so it's fine. Yes. I don't think I did Sorry. the last one either. 
I'm eating boss souls in front of Reaper. In front of Reaper? Yeah. He'd say to use his great sword this time. But I think two of them have him with the great sword, two have him with a scythe. There's a bonfire right here, I'll spam my best spell all day. Oh, those tasty, tasty boss sauce. <laughs> because they tasted great. That's why I could do it. Stand up so I can parry you again. And I did it all for three levels. Yeah. What level are you now, anyway? Level 163. 159. Oh, that one I did. So yeah, that is all I'm done now. So now, hopefully, if you go back... Well, I'll, I'll leave from this bonfire and go back to the first one. That reminds me, I want to actually try and use this thing. Not that Which thing. is... I always misplace... Oh, just keep... There it is. What's this thing swing like? All right. So now, assuming that is what you did to trigger it, if it isn't, the other thing I can think of being hollow. Yeah. That's the only other thing I can think of that you did that wasn't the same yeah, when I was would, there. Yeah. I love that spinning. I love that rolling attack. All right, he's alive. So it is taking out Forlorn. Interesting. Yeah. And yet they put in a bunch of signs saying, don't you dare. Yeah. To try and trick you. <laughs> you don't even get it from the corpse, it just magically appears on nope. you. Dear, well, dear. How, why, where would a dragon skeleton keep a key? Well, that's just the point, you shouldn't bloody have it. If they want to try and put it in your way deliberately, they should have made like the, the hippo have it. Although he doesn't have pockets either. But... Yeah. Well, what if someone stuck it inside the dragon's skull? That's just needlessly cruel. <laughs> the, the skeleton doesn't care. The skeleton can handle the pain. Hang in there. Skeleton. That part goes without saying. Yeah. You think I have this now as well? I love how silly this weapon looks when you do a special attack. Alright, so this door here I can now open. And inside! Right, so he was always there, but I'm going to be cautious and draw him out. Here, have something a bit bigger. Have you seen what else is in there yet? Uh, another dude. We both had the same idea, let's be best friends. Have you seen the new addition to Aldia's pet? Is that a gargoyle? Yes. Oh, someone fired a ghastly abbey. Yes, there's also one of the Aldia warlocks in that. Warlocksies. Yeah, Pretty sure that's not the plural of... It's just one warlock, many warlocks. Nah, it's warlocksies. So yeah, he's there now. He's firing an irritating amount of types. Yes, he will just keep firing, because he is a caster. Nope, there's nothing like a... Yeah, yeah, I noticed there's a few more chests as well, or maybe like yes. one more chest. No, and there's then, like four. Are they all mimics? Yes. Yes? Yes. Oh. Every last one of them in there is a mimic. Do they drop stuff that's worth getting? Oh. Uh, I don't think it was amazing, but it was like. Is that Gargo going to try and attack me? From what I remember, I don't think it or aggro as long as you don't go near it. Well, I want to get near it so I can kill the bloody mage, although I just realised I can go in the other door and shoot him from there. Although you've got to deal with hippos. Hippos are easy to deal with. You shoot them until they die. Hippotrotomus. Yeah, assuming you're within range, obviously. What if they grab... What if you get them to no health, but they grab you and then kill you and then die themselves? Yeah, that was fun. Was that even on camera? Did that happen when we were doing... No, that was your one, wasn't it? So, it wasn't that on camera. Well, no, remember, I think it was a short video, so we might, it might be on camera. Oh, I may have forgotten about that. Oh, that's that's okay. By the way, pardon? Uh, I just took a turtle hit to the face because I thought I could do enough damage to kill him before he hit me. That was a mistake. 
Now then, you little prick. I'll show you how to cast magic. If you're lucky, you can get his hat. His hat. It's actually really good for my own. You said you had more herbs to give me, right? So I can be a little spam yeah, happy with my magic. Good. I've got one of the top, the two, two of them, and then the, I've got three of the top tier ones. Nice. All right, so they're all mimics, eh? Yes. It begins. Also, one of them did the same thing he did to you. Well, you you hit it from behind, but it grabbed I you. Hit it, I hit it from practically behind it, but it got me in its animation and killed me. Got a bunch of dust curves from that one. Convenient. That lets me kill the other ones. Nom, nom, nom. Your crazy obsession with murder. So far, they're not dropping anything that's worth this murder, for the record. Well, the herbs. I used two herbs to kill them all. Although not that tier. That was... Right, does the gargoyle drop also, anything? Um, I don't think he does. Also, there's something else in that room now that's new. Uh, I'll have a look after the gargoyle's dead. Also, the gargoyle respawns too. Well, the rest of it doesn't? Well, the gargoyle does. Most of the enemies in the room does. But the mimics do not. What am I looking for if it's new? Oh, I see a switch. Yeah. Do I want to pull it? I would. Yeah, but I don't know if I can trust you. Of course you can trust me. What have I ever led anyone astray? What's that noise? Did you just release all the monsters outside? Yeah, the set dressing isn't set dressing anymore. Oh, uh, okay. I knew never to trust you. <laughs> Did they drop anything worth doing, or shall I just Ancient Feather? Um, I think some of them can. I know the two mimics might. Oh, yeah, they're they all might. released all right. Yeah, yeah, nuts to that. I'm going to go talk to Vendrick. So, the other stuff in there, the mimics don't respawn, but everything else that you drop does, I think. Okay. So, oh, yeah. wait, that's right. One of them was a mimic. Did that drop two anything good? Two of them were mimics. Ugh. Oh, I can't be bothered. The ones in there didn't drop anything good. How do you like keeping pet mimics? This was, this was supposed to be the first part of the second DLC, and you made me waste my time with that. You loved it, though. No, I didn't. That's why you have to kill for Lauren to do it. There's no real need. Oops. So now, run to Vendrick, see if we can actually do the run this in this version without dying on the way. Never talked to him about the Sunken King. Vendrick, Vendrick, Vendrick. Him there from there. Hmm. I suppose hitting the guy at the bell. Trying not to ring it would be the best bet. Although you've got to remember to kill the other ones that spawn. I'm hoping just to run in the door. Well, they shouldn't follow you into the boss room with Valstat. Yeah, they never do, but it's surviving into there. It's going to be a bit more tricky in this version. Oh, only two of the knights respawned. Yeah, I'm assuming the big one didn't. He did not. The dragon rider. They are going to ring it. As soon as you kill that first hollow, another hollow pops up and starts walking towards the bell. That's different. Although by the time he gets to the bell, I'll already be safe. So that means on repeat trips back to Vendrick, assuming you're killing him as well, it won't be that painful. So that's good. Yeah. They've made that run so much easier. Not the first time it. you do it, but well, subsequent no, but times. That's because you're going there for Valstat. Plus, I'd rather take two knights and a couple of hollows that might spawn the blue guys over the, like, six knights you had to fight before. Yeah, yeah. All that you can't shoot from range because they block after the first hit. <laughs> Memory of the king. I'm going with turning the hollow.
I like talking to Vendrick. Vendrick's kind of cool. Hmm. Yeah, fashion cells. Hey, that's what it's about. I fail to see your design, young moth. But I see very little these days. <clears throat> hmm, I don't remember him saying that before. I fail to see your design, young moth. Moth. Yet I fail to see much these days. He's not. He's not reflecting the fact we've done the Sunken King. It might be that the fact that we've not actually done the first beat in the Chandra. Ah, they've added something different to the memory. That's so quite. That's quite fun. In the portals. If you try to leave by running up the stairs, you will see that Velstat is loyally guarding him. Oh, cool. Yeah. I kind of want to see that, but. I'm going to go back in because now I assume it will recognize that I did the first DLC. Yeah. He's far enough away that you could never get him in time to him or anything like that. But it's nice that they added him because he's supposed to be there guarding him. That's where I'm going to go. No, apparently not. Maybe that was what he said after getting the first crown, I don't recall. Um, I'm running well, we've, never normally, we've never normally gone to see him this early in the game, though. Usually we would have... Last time we did this, we were already... We were, the, we were done, weren't we? Yeah, done with the main game. Hmm. The DLCs is all we had left. Alright, well, speaking of which, time to go to Old Iron Keep. We're 15 you know, minutes into I'm, the video, just over that, in fact. We're finally going to start the deal. We're just now getting started what was supposed to be the start of this video. Because of you. It's and fun. lying to me about what was in Odia's Keep. I didn't lie to you. I said there was something worth seeing. Yeah, you lied. You got to see a gargoyle. A bunch of mimics that dropped garbage. Well, gargoyle though. Yeah, I've saw extra gargoyles already in Dranlink Castle. Maybe that was one of them. And that's where he got it from. Yeah, he saw a gargo flying around and that's mine. Anyway, I'm going to go talk to Vendrick where you get to the first bonfire in that area, because I've already done, done it. Oh, you have? Okay, that's good then. Yeah. I'm going to get a suntan first in this lava. Can lava give you suntans? Give you a lot of things, but I don't know if suntan's one of them. A nice charred black look, I guess. <laughs> Nothing else. Alright. So we did actually go in here before, but because we didn't have the key from the Salamander pit, we wouldn't let us in. But now it will. can't remember, you, oh yeah, you can examine this. With water drying path amiss, woeful temptation is dismissed. In the Tower of Old Iron King resides a child of dark. Ah. Trespassers will face adversity befitting a monarch. We'll see about that. Now we've got to see if they've, if we can remember all your smelt or wedge locations. Nope. I can tell you that right now. Nope. Thanks, Vendrick. Hey, it's the door that looks like someone's doing a high kick into a farmer's hand. That's right. That's how they train farmers, you see. Yeah. Parry dagger. You need ten, plenty of them. I want everyone's favourite dagger. Which is what? The Peyton Guardian one. The one that's oh, really annoying. Yes. It's really scumbaggy. Hey, this place is pretty still. Anyway, I am next to the bonfire. I'm still running there. Cremelon. I was going to say human, but that doesn't running, matter. Running along the giant chain that should have PvP battles on it. This would be where PvP would be awesome. I got my smelter wedges. Oh. The first six. Oh yeah, you didn't actually mean picking them up, you meant where you stick them in. Yeah. That and the fact that we need to remember where all the other ones are. Also, I found a summon sign here for someone called Predator. Do you know hey, anyone Predator. called Predator? No. It's just someone in the Berserk armor. <laughs> it's a good name, then. Befitting. With his dreadlocks. 
which I might actually wear that helm just because I like the look of it. Right, bonfire let. Let's see if we can actually get our summons to work here as opposed to yeah. Dragon Shrine. I sat down next to bonfire. Oh, you didn't even put it down. Well, no, I was wa I was waiting for you to say you were there so I could put it down. It appeared instantly, so Dragon Shrine is just a shitty place, yeah. I guess. Also, I'm assuming there's no point using the first Smutter Wedge on the very first one. Because all that does is spew fire, just spew pillars of flame, and you can run around it. But aren't you supposed to do them all? Yes, but we will get the last one after we beat Alon, which we can use on that one. Okay. Yeah, right. So I change what are you wearing now? What is on? I'm rocking mannequin armor and then a weird hat. Oh, that. Hat. Yeah, the marble face. I don't approve. Well, I was tired of being a ninja. So we just run past this guy. Just go down there. Yeah. But if you want the dex ring, you can go back and get it, but. Nah. Not like I'm going to use it. That for all that extra dex you get. Oh yeah, all well, these lifts don't work yet. We have to turn them on. You know, tickle them in the right places, etc. Yeah. Wait, I'm going to change rings. To what? You mean take off Kremel? Yeah, I do. Punch you in the face. Okay, I'm going to put the I got to put the crest of the rat on. First enemy appears in front of me now, I believe. Yeah. It's got two axes. That's the best number of axes. Got two axes that you can't get in the game. Really? Yeah. They're like the gargoyle axes, do we not? Yeah. No, they're unique ones that only these guys have. That's what one of the main complaints was of this DLC. Oh, give me herbs. I just picked up something that reminded me. Got to feed my herb habit. Oh, because we left that one alive up there, we're going to hear a whisper non-stop. Well, until we get further away. Yeah, and then we'll be close to another one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love how the animation for you picking up things only played twice for me. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm special like that. So doesn't one appear behind you here? Yeah, one appears like down there. But they stagger it so that you... Oh, he was very persistent. Could have warned me that he was rushing at me and... Stuff like that, but. Plus, I was hoping I would have got him with the runner so it would have been fun. I was distracted by the fact that one of those things I ran through dropped an item. This one here. Yes. Large soul. Charcoal pine resin. Whispers saying angry, angry things. Yes, I, I. That's the one thing I don't like about this DLC is how many of the weapons you can't get the enemies are using. Well, this is one where you can get stories, this sword. Yes. I like that sword. Yes. Because you used it at the end. I did, because it's the left-handed sword. Left -handed it unleashes sword. its true power sword when you use devil. it in the correct hand. Sword of the devil, yeah. That's sword of a devil. Oh, if only I could use it on a mage character. I mean, I technically could, but I think that would probably be a waste of levels. Yeah. Be a little Spin bit. Spin to win, though. Top. Spin to win. You just love doing that, don't you? I enjoyed it when I was using Santir Spear, and I enjoyed it when I used that as well, yes. Ladders of the week. Yeah. Also the sensible. Yeah. But who wants to be sensible when you can be cool? Scythe plus seven. What are you shooting at? Oh yeah, I was shooting at the possessed armor that patrols over there. Get your marble face in that door. Prism stone times ten. Liar ahead. No, then, if I remember correctly, there's a lot of guys in this next room. Yeah, this is also where we need to use one of our smell wedges. Well, you cover me while I run at them and do it. If I remember rightly, you sh I shouldn't aggro anyone if I just go down the ladder. I think you can stand right at the bottom of the ladder. I seem to remember doing that. I'll wait for you to come a little bit further down. I can't go any further oh, down because yeah, you're, didn't realize you were right there. <laughs> yeah, it's still. Considered... Does it default to yes or default to no? I don't remember. Let's find out. I think it defaults to no. It defaults to no, yes. Urgh, I drive although a once you're in the animation, you're doing your invincible side. Yeah. Although it's the second it wears off, you are not invincible. Yeah. Although now they take more damage, these guys, so it's good. There's a lot of them, though. Don't die, Rory. So great sword! You're not the boss of me. Alright, we'll die then. Also. Warmth! I'm gonna stick my face against it! 
feels warm in my tingly parts. It's about all I'm going to be able to do with pyromancy in this DLC. That's good. That plus poison is good. Also, you missed a guy back here. Yeah, no, that's the one. Chest, isn't he? Yeah, that's the one that's meant to get you when you run into that room to get to safety. All right, there's two guys in here actually. Yeah, that's the big trap. You avoid a trap by running into a trap. I just like that they have enough range that a roll will not save you. I don't even know if I can poison these guys. Um, don't remember. Never tried actually, so I'm not sure why yeah. I said I can't remember. That would imply I tried. Stay active once. Dance of fire! Hit. That's a good looking spell, but I don't remember it being that great. It's the one where you make a fireball to like the left of them and it goes across. Yeah. It's the one that's annoying to dodge, but you can rarely hit with it. Alright, nothing out there, so I've got to open the door. I can't open the door. Yeah, you're not allowed. No doors allowed for you. Those kind of switches. Although, thanks to all that pissing around at the start, we're at 25 minutes now, so shall we just do a quick break here and then carry on with the second DLC proper in the next yeah. part? Alright, sorry about that, everybody. Blame Rory. You know, feel free to do hashtag Blame Rory in the comments as opposed to anything Hulkamania related. No, don't encourage Dragon Akis. He's a grown man. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and please come back for more tomorrow. Until then, that was your cue for a noise. No, a noise. Hulkamania no, is No, a noise, though. Hulkamania! Ta-ta for now.